In today's video, we're going to break down five incredible facts about the world-renowned Golden Retriever. Welcome back to the Fenrir Golden Retriever Show. If this is your first time here, then my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder and CEO of FenrirK9Leaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could ever possibly want to know about the incredible Golden Retriever, then how to become a high-level canine leader that can raise perfect Golden Retriever companions. So if you're a Golden Retriever lover or you're just starting your journey with a new one, then I promise you this channel is for you. So start by hitting that subscribe button, turn on that notification, notification bell so you never miss a future golden retriever video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll break down five incredible and very interesting facts about one of the world's most popular dog breeds. And let's start at number five and with the fact that the golden retriever is a perfect dog for first time owners and families. So with honoring this immensely kind and gentle nature of these beautiful dogs, the golden retrievers are easy to train, intelligent and always keen to please their owners. Combined with their extraordinary adaptability and friendliness, these character traits make the golden retrievers a perfect choice for families with young children. Now also, if you have never had a dog before, this gentle hearted breed is an absolutely great place to start. They are very forgiving, so any beginner mistakes you might make in their training are usually quite easy to correct. Now also, Goldies, as they are often lovingly called, are very sociable and very agreeable, not only towards their human family, but also towards visitors, other dogs, as well as other pets in the household. Now, whilst this natural kindness doesn't necessarily make them the best watch or guard dog, they are still rather large dogs and can be taught to sound an alarm should there be any suspicious activity going on around the house. Now, potentially, burglars will usually prefer to not even bother trying their luck in a house guarded by a large dog, especially when it makes its presence known with a loud bark, which is definitely something the Goldie can do. Now, these loving and faithful companions are generally happy and joyful dogs with a puppy-like enthusiasm and eagerness for life. You can see and enjoy these character traits even in older Golden Retrievers. They truly are are wonderful dog breeds. And our fact at number four is the Golden Retriever's origins being in treacherous marshlands of Scotland. Now, despite the extraordinary popularity that Golden Retrievers enjoy today as family pets, they are in fact highly skilled and finely tuned working dogs. Their fascinating history begins in the marshlands of the United Kingdom and more precisely right up in the Scottish Highlands. In the late 1800s, a man by the name of Lord Tweedmouth developed the breed into a reliable hunting companion and it still is today. As the retriever's name suggests, its, spe its speciality lies in the retrieval of game, more specifically in the retrieval of waterfowl after it had been shot down by the dog's handler. Now the retriever would quickly traverse marshy ground as well as shallow or deep bodies of water, gently grab the fallen fowl and then deliver it to the hunter completely undamaged. Now, however, the actual name Golden Retriever was only coined in the early 20th century. Originally, Lord Tweedmouth called the breed the Yellow Retriever and developed them out of the existing population of wavy-coated retrievers and the now extinct Tweed Water Spaniels. His goal was to create a highly effective retriever that would be suited to the rough climate and terrain of Scotland. I think it is safe to say that Lord Tweedmouth has successfully completed his mission. Now, in its outer appearance, the modern-day Golden Retriever is a large dog with a strong, muscled, yet well-balanced and symmetrical body. Breed standards describe this amazing family and hunting companion as, and quote, symmetrical, powerful, active dog, sound and well put together, not clumsy nor long in the leg, displaying a kindly expression and possessing a personality that is eager, alert and self-confident. Now, what that actually reflects to is that the Golden Retriever's height ranges from around 55 to 60 centimetres in males and a little bit less for females, weighing up to 34 kilos and again a little bit less for females. Their beautiful, long, lustrous golden coats come in a variety of shades ranging from a light cream colour to a deep, rich gold. 
Now, a fact at number three is that golden retrievers really do save human lives all of the time. These striking dogs excel not only as gentle pets and hunting companions, but they can do far more. Golden retrievers have gained worldwide recognition as service dogs, SAR dogs, therapy dogs, guard dogs for blind people. Labradors, golden retrievers, and German shepherds have been and remain our most popular pure breeds on the program, which is a quote from the Guide Dogs for the Blind Association here in the UK. Now, their high adaptability to different roles also makes Golden Retrievers perfect service dogs for people who suffer from impaired hearing and or impaired mobility and who need a reliable assistance dog at their side all of the time. Now, as search and rescue dogs, these are one of the most well-suited breeds on the planet. This fact is due to their extraordinary trainability as well as their versatility both on land and in water. Mountain rescue teams quite often use Golden Retrievers to locate and save avalanche victims. Working side by side with their handlers, Golden Retrievers have helped save countless human lives in the field in particular of search and rescue. So our fact at number two is that Golden Retrievers are really properly top-notch athletes. Now, like their Scottish ancestors, the Golden Retrievers we know and love today are still superb working dogs, keen, intelligent, and highly trainable. These athletic, agile, and strong dogs have a high affinity to water. As many owners will be able to attest, a Golden Retriever will very happily jump into any body of water that it can find. Now, these wonderful companions excel in all kinds of canine sports and activities, such as agility, dock jumping, tracking, obedience training, retrieving objects on land and in water. Now, of course, the energetic canine athletes are equally happy to accompany you on any activity out in the great outdoors. For example, things like jogging, trail running, hiking, or even cycling. Now, no matter what activity or what sport or outdoor adventure that you are personally drawn to, I promise you, your golden retriever will be more than happy to accompany you on that adventure. Because of their their origins as working dogs, these wonderful canines, do need a fair bit of daily mental stimulation and physical stimulation. Therefore, if you do want to enjoy the company of a well-rounded, fully contented and healthy golden retriever, you do have to get and stay pretty active yourself. Now, in terms of their health, they are fairly robust and can live to a good 10 to 12 years. However, they do still suffer from a number of potential health problems that are often quite common in these medium to large type breeds, most prominently hip and elbow dysplasia. They are also quite often will fall victim to cancer and epilepsy. Therefore, it is advisable to only buy your puppy from a reputable breeder who performs excellent pre-breeding health testing as a matter of course. In other words, this is a, a breeder who performs health checks on both parents of your puppies and can provide you with certificates for those parents and for your new puppy. Now, remember, guys, if you do need any help whatsoever with training your new Golden Retriever puppy, we have tons of resources down in the description box below or available on femreardogtraining.com. So if you want to read some testimonials of people who have followed our programs and protocols, go over there, check it out. And I'm incredibly proud of the amount of people we're able to help through our community around Fenrir. Now, let's go into the fact at number one, and that is the Golden Retriever's dark side. Now, there is no doubt about it. The Golden Retriever is a marvellous canine companion. Sweet, loving, warm-hearted, and kind to humans and animals alike. But... As is the case with any dog breed, there is a dark side to them as well. Now, not in terms of aggressive behavior, but in terms of mouthing, chewing, and potentially separation anxiety are the problem behaviors that are most common with golden retrievers and the ones that as a canine behaviorist, most people come to me seeking advice and guidance with when they have a golden retriever. Now, as we said before, golden retrievers have been bred and used as hunting companions, specializing in retrieving game from rivers, lakes, and marshes. This this gives them a natural affinity to water. So wanting to jump in nearly every body of water that they can find on your walks is kind of their default setting. And yes, puddles and mud holes also count as bodies of water for your retriever, even if not so much for us. They are not doing this purposely to annoy you. It is just part of their genetic makeup. This extraordinary love for water can mean that in a matter of seconds, the beautiful golden coat of your golden retriever is transformed 
transformed into a muddy, stinky, brown, horrible coat. Now, along with your clothing, should they decide to shake right in front of you or to lovingly lean on you, which is very common with the Golden Retrievers. Now, as this behavior is so deeply ingrained in the breed, you would be well advised to make sure that you have a good garden hose and a towel ready before letting your dog back into the house anytime you go outdoors with any form of adventure now another aspect of the goldies dark side is what we mentioned earlier and that's their tendency to chew anything that they can sink their teeth into now goldies can and do quite like to very quickly destroy anything from cushions shoes kitchen cabinets and door frames if they could put it in their mouth there's a good chance they're going to try and destroy it now it might only take a few short hours of leaving it alone in the house and you can come back to an absolute disaster however as they are so intelligent and eager to please you as their owner it is relatively easy to curb these destructive habits and behaviors before they destroy your possessions and drain your bank account as well as wrecking your nerves every time you think about going out now here is where investing in a crate is your worth its weight in gold alongside various chew toys mental stimulation and good canine leadership to be able to train the dog to understand what it can chew on as well as what it can't chew on and again if you need help with that the links are down in the description box below so i hope you enjoyed our five facts today about the glorious golden retriever if you did make sure you hit that like button and if you think we missed anything out that you want to raise get that down in the comment section below i love it when we can chat amongst ourselves in this amazing community that we have across all of our fenrir channels including this new one here at fenrir golden retriever show where we have two new golden retriever videos coming every single week so don't forget to subscribe and i can't wait to see you on the next episode of the fenrir golden retriever show